Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. Today we'll be doing problem 10 here. Which of the following is a factor of the polynomial 2x squared minus x minus 55? There are two methods we can use to solve this. There's a trial and error method or we could use the grouping method after using the AC method, right? And so we're going to start with the trial and error method first because it's a little simpler and it's a little easier for us, right? So trial and error. In trial and error, we want to play with the possible factors that will give us the middle term. And once we find the factors that give us the middle term, we factor it completely. So our first step is going to take, is be taking the factors of the two, which are just two and one. Those are the only ways to make two, and the factors are negative 55. And to make negative 55, we have negative 1 and 55. We have negative 5 and 11, we have negative 11 and 5, and finally negative 55 and 1. So here, since we only have one set of factors for the 2, we're going to take those and insert them in the parentheses as 2x and 1x. Multiplying these two give us 2x squared, so we have our first term in order. What we have to worry about now is the sum of the middle two pairs, right? And so we're going to start with the first two set of factors here, negative 1 and positive 55, and we're just going to insert them as the corresponding pairs. 55 times negative 1 gives us the last term, and 2x times 1x gives us the first term. Now we're just worried about the middle term, so we're going to take the product of 2x and 55 and negative 1 and 1x and add them up. So 2x times 55 is 110x's. This is a positive. On the bottom here, we have negative 1 and positive 1x multiplying, and we get negative 1x. The sum of 110x's and negative 1x is actually just 109x's. And this isn't the term that we have, right? So we know that this isn't the solution. So we can scratch out our first set of factor pairs for the 55. And we'll start over over here on this side. So let's try our second set of factors. Our second set of factors for this are going to be negative 5 and positive 11. So we'll just go ahead and insert them in here. And we're, again, going to do the same multiplication because we see 2 times 1x is 2x squared. Negative 5 times 11 is negative 55. So here we have negative 5x's when we multiply negative 5 by 1. And 2x times 11 is 22x's. When we add these, we get positive 17x's. Now this still isn't the middle term we're looking for. We're looking for something a little closer than this. So we're going to strike these out as well. We're going to try this over with a different set of factors. And that's why we call this the trial and error method, because we're literally trying to find the right solution. So now we'll try the third pair. Here we have negative 11 and positive 5. So let's see what happens with the middle term, because the outside terms are still there. 2x squared and negative 55 still occur. But what's happening in the middle here? So we have negative 11x's when we multiply negative 11 by 1x. And we multiply 2x by positive 5, we get positive 10x's. Now here we see when we add these two up, negative 11x's plus 10x's give us negative 1x. And that's actually the middle term, so we've completed our factors here. So we see the factors and the solution to this problem are 2x minus 11 times x plus 5 and now we just have to match them to the correct solution. So we'll take the first factor and compare them to every answer here. 2x minus 11 isn't A, it isn't B, it isn't C, but it is D, right? And as we can see, the second factor is not on this list at all. But our answer for this is actually D, because 2x minus 11 is one of our solutions. So here's our solution for it. Now, this takes care of the trial and error method, but there's still another method we could use if we don't know how to do this too well, right? So let's go on and take a look at the AC method and group factoring with the AC method. So to do this method, we take the first term and the last term, and we multiply them together. So we get 2x squared times negative 55. Now the product of these two are going to give us negative 110x squared. Now the way this works is we're going to factor this into two pairs, into a single pair with a x 
for each, each term and the factors of negative 110. So on the left side, I'm going to make the list of negative numbers. On the right side, there'll be positive numbers. So the first factor of negative 110x squared is going to be negative 1x times 110x, right? The product of these two make this, and the sum of them make positive 109x's. Now I'm going to go ahead and make the list before I make my sums so that I could just get it out of the way. It's probably going to be the most tedious task. So here we have negative 2x's plus 55x is the second factor set. Then we have negative 5x's plus 11x's. Oh, I'm sorry, 22. I'm sorry, not 11, but 22. The next term is going to be negative 10x's plus 11x. And then this is where they come just about even. So we're going to start swapping the numbers around. And instead of having these as negatives, they're going to become positives, And these will become negatives. So negative 11x's plus 10x's. Negative 22x's plus 5x's. Negative 55x's plus 2x's and negative 110x's plus 1x. Now let's get each individual sum. For every sum that we see, like 109x's, this might not be the solution to this problem, but it could serve a purpose for any other solution. These, this sample space is always useful for creating. So in the case you have a different problem, you see one of these sums come up, and you never know when it could come in useful, right? So this becomes 17x's here. This here becomes positive 1x. Then we get negative 1x. Then negative 17x's. Then finally negative 53x's. And the last one is negative 109x's. In this particular case, the middle term is the sum of negative 11x and positive 10x's. So we're just going to box these in and make this substitution for negative 1x. So this negative x is then going to become negative 11x's and positive 10x's. Take away 55. And now to solve this, we're going to use group factoring by factoring out the greatest common factor in each set of two groups. The first group here is going to be 2x squared take away 11 x's. And so the greatest common factor between them is simply just x. And when we remove the factor of x from each of these two terms, we're left with 2x take away 11. Our second group here is plus 10x minus 55. The greatest common factor between them, first we take the plus of the third term down. Then we're looking for the greatest common factor of 10x's and negative 55, which is just 5. And we're going to be left with 2x's take away 11 here. Now we see in each group they have a common factor of 2x take away 11. So we're going to move that 2x take away 11 forward. And once we factor this out, we could see that the x plus 5 is left over. We're just going to put them in a set of parentheses of their own and keep the sum of the two terms going. And here we see that we just finished factoring the same problem. Also, this gave us the same solution as the trial and error method did. Again, we see 2x minus 11 is the answer for D. And that's our